All right, so it's going to be a tough one in Denver, who was undermanned as well without Daniel Gallinari or Wilson Chandler. We had no Clay Thompson out with a heel, no Livingston, and of course the two bigs out. So McGee and P. Mack get the start. You know, and coming off this emotional game, you could see this was going to be a trap game. There's Mike Malone, very underrated head coach. Doesn't get the credit he deserves, probably because he looks like he should be on to catch a predator. Either way, he gets this team playing very hard, and they were ready. Steph Curry was absolutely pathetic. He made Jameer Nelson look like he was back in Orlando with Dwight Howard, getting to the hoop, hitting threes. And you're going to see here one of the few highlights of the night for us, a nice lob to JaVale, who always gets up a little extra for Denver. Now here's KD. Watch him get stripped. No effort getting back. He kind of just stands and watches. And this young Nuggets team, like I said, Malone, for, he's going to have his teams play hard. T-Mac, nice dime, backdoor cut, KD with the finish. And then take a look at Will Barton. This is just not in the scouting report that he's able to hit step back threes like this. But I think teams come in knowing they got to shoot it against us and it gives them an added green light of confidence. Now Jokic st switched out on Steph. What does he do? Take a contested jumper. Maybe the most lackadaisical. Look at this defense here, look at this. That's absolutely pathetic. Maybe the most lackadaisical effort I've ever seen from Steph Curry in a basketball game, no lie. Hernan Gomez with the career night, and then everything was run through Jokic. There's the back door. Steph got burned by that in Oklahoma City. Teams are scouting that. Then look at this, pathetic Nelson blowing by him again. So they, they continue to attack Steph, and there's the kid Hernan Gomez again, and it was fun to watch him get going because it was almost like he was surprised at himself. Then take a look at P-Mac's legs, man. I got to do it to him. Doesn't his legs look like something off an old episode of Cops? And here's KD. Look, he hasn't beaten. Nah, I'm just going to pass it. We'll take a contested three instead. Gets the lucky bounce this time. And there's a deep one for Murray. McAdoo lets some dude who will be in Europe next year get the offensive rebound, and they've dusted off Mike Miller, who hits the three despite walking like he has a sports hernia. And there's Briante, he gets in the game, and it was finally a, a good look at him. Here's JaVale with his only move in the post, it's a drop step, but he tends to score with it well. Now let's freeze this here. Look how out of position Steph is after a baseline penetration. He needs to step up to the front of the rim, he doesn't, so Ig has to flash, and then he leaves the kid who's already hit like three or four threes open, and look at Steph just kind of pointing. And now, Denver's feeling themselves. So Steph comes back down and he's like, well, I'm definitely not going to play defense. At least, at least he could hit the three, right? Right? No, not tonight. Not in the altitude. He was one of 11. Barton, McGee, nah, let's just let him dunk it. Will Barton's a nice player, man. I like him. And then Jameer blows by Weber, who should have tried to challenge him at the rim. Instead, goes for the steal. He's very steal happy. He did show the little jumper here coming off the curl. And then here he is. Not gonna let that happen again on old Mir Jameer, old man Jameer, I should say. Forces the turnover with his ball pressure. So with the ball pressure, it is impressive. And here's Looney with a nice first step. And he's so hard for him to finish in traffic. So he gives it up to Damian Jones with a soft finish. And he looks very tentative still. Briante drops back, and this was surprising. Looney, I don't know if this is his first three, but it's one of them. And he's really gonna need to start hitting that to spread the floor and stay in the game's longer because offensively he struggles. Briante the steal, nice little outlet pass. P-Mac was our best player all night, showing confidence, getting to the rim, and hit a few outside shots. So the youngsters tried to make it respectable. And here's Briante, watch him get rubbed off on the screen here. Anytime you guard a man that close like Briante likes to, you're gonna be more susceptible to screens. And Gary Harris is from Westworld. He's not human, y'all. Nice little jab step, P-Mac, the floater, got him. Here's the pick and roll with Damian Jones. And everybody talks about his hops. I'd like to see him go up to the rim a little, a little harder with a little more aggression, but maybe it'll come. He's still young. And then look at the effort there. They don't end up getting the turnover. But Briante comes as advertised with the energy. He makes guys spend more energy than they want to. He is very weak, though. The Patrick Beverly comparisons... You know, he's a much weaker player than Beverly physically. You see Jokic with the outlet pass on his way to a triple-double. And it's time that they hand the keys to this team to Jokic. Never mind Gallinari and these other guys. He's a dominant young player. Kerr has nothing much to say. Shame on you, Steph Curry.
Nah, Steph is affording a mulligan, man, but it was really one of his worst efforts of the season. So we got one more game before the All-Star break. Hit that like, share, and subscribe. I'm out, y'all.